ampere turn relation. At all ordinary loads, the EMF E1 is induced in the primary binding by the mutual flux phi is nearly equal in magnitude to the primary terminal voltage V1. Differing only by the small drop in the primary binding. Hence, since V1 is constant, the induced EMF E1 must also be nearly constant. The mutual flux phi also must be nearly constant at all normal loads and therefore the MMF means current multiplied by number of turns producing it must be nearly constant. Thus, the exciting current or no load current I0 is a small in magnitude ordinarily being 3% of the rated current. The exciting current I0 is of a small magnitude and generally differs considerably in phase from the total primary current. Therefore, it is normally neglected in comparison with the total primary current. Now, let the secondary be loaded and the load current be I2 ampere. So, there is flux phi 2 produced by the secondary ampere turn that is N2 I2 and as per Lenz law, this flux results in decrease in the resultant flux and hence decrease in the induced EMF E1. But EMF E1 is almost constant and to keep this constant, the flux phi should be restored to the original value. Hence, the primary draws a current I from the AC mains such that the primary ampere turns that is N1 I1 is equal to the secondary ampere turns that is N2 I2. As the number of primary turns N1, the secondary turns N2 cannot be changed. Therefore, this reduction in the main flux because of increase in current of secondary binding can only be compensated by increase in primary current. Therefore, you can see here, increase in secondary current results in increase in primary current. And similarly, decrease in secondary current results in decrease of the primary current. Therefore, under loading conditions, N1 I1 is equal to N2 I2 or I1 upon I2 is equal to N2 upon N1. If the transformer losses we neglected and the unity power factor we assumed then E1 upon A2 is equal V1 upon V2 is equal N1 upon N2 is equal I2 upon I1. 